I'm Paula Froelich. Take a journey with me to explore the unknown and discover the unexpected. This is Abroad Abroad. The adventure starts now. What's his name? Tom Kante. So this is my new best friend, Tom Kante. <laughs> and Tom Kante and I are going to hang out and probably spend every Saturday night together and, you know, maybe go dancing. The forests outside of Kala, Myanmar, in northern Shan State, have a secret, a private retirement home for a few lucky elephants. These are all age retired elephants, so all these age like uh, over 60. For centuries, elephants have been Myanmar's heavy lifters in the timber industry. But a logging ban that started last April on raw teak and timber exports have left elephants in an even worse position. Raised in captivity, many are now left to fend for themselves in the wild and are easy targets for poachers. And they've been working for working 50 for years? At least 30 years, of course, wow. you know, 30 to 35 years working uh, in the timber industry. This is Tun Tun Nguyen and Tin Nguyen Ma, the founders of the Green Hill Valley Elephant Sanctuary. They enlist former timber workers to become elephant caretakers called mahouts. You cannot change the mahout quite, I mean, frequently. Mahout is the, 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 the person yeah, I mean, who knows the best about the character of the elephant. This is the reason that we have seven elephants, we have a seven family, so we set up the seven houses. So ah, it's a yeah. village made of mahouts. Mahout village, yeah, ah, exactly. Right. Each morning, the mahout calls out to his elephant from the wild, bathes and feeds him during the day before the elephant returns to the forest to forage at night. Do you feel? So this one worked at a logging camp? Yeah, yeah. For how many years? Well, I would say 35, over 30, 35 years. Wow. She's OK now. And why was he so skinny when you got him? Uh, because of the stress, anxiety, overloading, you oh. know. Uh, we are just taking that challenge that we started to create the responsible program for taking care of these timber elephants. And the other people can also create different programs to take care of these elephants from timber industry. Just giving her an elephant head massage. We're going for the temples right now. The sanctuary depends on tourism dollars, despite only being able to accommodate 25 tourists a day. So book early, because it's totally worth it. Trust. Thing I've ever done, and it's giving someone a bath. Kind of like it. At an old age home. Think of changing careers. 